Both Microsoft and Google has a cybersecurity program on Coursera. You might be asking which one is better or which one should you take? Let's talk about it. Looking at both programs, one of the main differences between Microsoft and Google is the amount of hours it will take. Microsoft says six months at 10 hours a week, whereas Google says six months at seven hours a week. Which sounds like Microsoft may have additional content compared to Google, or it takes that much longer to explain Microsoft products. Under Microsoft's program, you'll understand the cybersecurity landscape and learn core concepts foundational to security, compliance, and identity solutions. You'll understand the vulnerabilities of an organization's network and mitigate attacks on network infrastructure to protect your data. Develop and implement threat mitigation strategies by applying effective cybersecurity measures within Azure environments. And you'll demonstrate your skills with a capstone project at the end to better prepare you for SC900. Switching over to Google, under Google's program, you'll understand the importance of cybersecurity practices and their impact for organizations. You get to identify common risks, threats, and vulnerabilities, as well as techniques on how to mitigate them. You will learn how to protect networks, devices, people, and data from unauthorized access, as well as cyber attacks using SIM tools. Also, you'll gain hands-on experience with Python, Linux, and SQL. When it comes to either program, it will introduce you to cybersecurity fundamentals and talks about threats, risks, and vulnerabilities as well. However, there are some slight differences between the two. With Microsoft, it will introduce you to their ecosystem as you will be working and learning about Azure AD, Microsoft Defender, and many more. This is nice to have because some organizations are heavily invested in cloud products. So understanding the terminology and knowledge about the cloud will benefit you in the future. To better reinforce this knowledge upon you, Microsoft has a capstone project at the end to better prepare you for a certificate called SC900, which is nice to have. Whereas Google is vendor agnostic, meaning you'll have the experience on various technologies. You'll gain hands-on experience on Python, Linux, and SQL, all of which are being used in cybersecurity. Having Python knowledge will make your life so much easier, not only in the field of cybersecurity, but all around. To summarize the differences for each program, for Microsoft, you'll learn how to develop and implement threat mitigation strategies within Azure. You'll also have a capstone project at the end to better prepare you for the SC900 exam. As for Google, you'll protect network, devices, people, and data from unauthorized access, as well as understand cyber attacks using SIM tools. You'll also gain hands-on experience with Python, Linux, and SQL. Let's switch our focus to the curriculum itself. Microsoft has a total of nine courses, and as of recording, it is not completely out yet. Whereas Google has a total of eight courses, and within each course has about three to five modules. When we look at Microsoft, we immediately see references to their product, such as Azure AD and Defender. But what I really like about this is that they don't skip out on the importance of operating systems. And we can see this by reviewing the first course that they offer, which provides an introduction into IT and security. You'll learn how to explain the way in which computer components interact with an operating system, as well as how to describe the basics of the cybersecurity landscape. So you get a nice mix of IT and cybersecurity. I won't go over all of the courses, but if you are interested, I did create a video going over those courses right here. Jumping over to identity and access solutions using Azure AD will put you in a great spot to really understand what organizations are using for both authentication and authorization. Active Directory. Reviewing all of the courses that Microsoft's program offers, it appears that they focus a lot more on the cloud side of things. For those who do enroll and complete this program, they'll have a better understanding on how to utilize Microsoft solutions. And they will also be prepared to tackle on the SC900 certification. As an added bonus, you will receive a 50% off discount code to tackle that certification. We'll head over to Google next. We immediately notice one difference compared to Microsoft where there is no introduction into operating systems, and instead it jumps straight into cybersecurity foundation. Now, is that a bad thing? 
Not necessarily, but I do recommend you become more familiar with operating systems if you aren't already. Google has a course called Tools of the Trade, Linux and SQL, and Automate with Python, where it will teach you the basics on how to query certain data, navigate around Linux and Python. All again, which are great to have and will make your life a lot easier, especially with Python. Again, I won't go over all of these courses, but if you are interested, I created a video here that talks about it. Those who do enroll in Google's program will have the opportunity to experience with various different technologies. And when completed, they will get a discount voucher code for Security Plus, which is a certification that HR tends to favor a lot. To summarize, Google is more focused on vendor agnostic training meaning you'll have experience with different various technologies and teaches you the basics of cybersecurity foundations, which is a great introductory course if you're just getting started. Upon completion, you'll get a voucher for Security Plus. Whereas Microsoft, they focus more on, well, Microsoft. They have courses that introduce you to some of their products like Azure AD and Microsoft Defender. Microsoft offers a capstone project at the end, along with an exam preparation and practice for one of their exams, SC900, Microsoft's Security, Compliance, and Identity Fundamentals. Upon completing the program, you'll receive a 50% off discount voucher for SC900. Okay, that's all great, but which one is better and which one should I take? Great question. They both focus on different areas of cybersecurity. So for Google, they have a nice balance of cybersecurity topics, but they are lacking in cloud security. They introduce students to multiple various tools and they have an introduction to Python course, which will teach you how to automate some of the tasks to make your life that much easier. Whereas Microsoft provides a more focused effort into cloud security. It'll introduce you into Microsoft's ecosystem, which a lot of organizations are moving towards. And at the end, they have a capstone project and exam preparation. So to answer that question, they're both good. And if you are in the position to do so, I do recommend you take both. They complement each other really well, and there will be topics that overlap each other, but no matter which program you take, you will 100% learn something new from each program. Again, Google has a nice balance of cybersecurity topics, but they don't really teach too much about cloud security and they are vendor agnostic. Whereas Microsoft appears to focus more on cloud security and it'll introduce you to Microsoft's ecosystem. But if you're not in the position to take both courses and you only have the option to take one, if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend you take a sample of both programs and listen in to the instructor. Depending on the instructor and their learning style, Whichever one you like more, that's the one you should go for. For me personally, I would choose Google because I want that discount voucher for Security Plus so I can hit those keywords when I'm hunting for a job. If you are someone trying to get started in cybersecurity, you don't have to do this alone. I want to help you with that journey, which is why I created a site called MyDFIR.com which you can sign up for free mentorship, no strings attached. And this is where I'll be posting books I recommend, cybersecurity resources, and blog posts. That is it for the video. If you found it informative and you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember, stay curious and do things differently.